Hey everybody, this is Matthew Rathbun. Welcome back to the channel. And I wanted to answer a question that I get asked a lot in my AI classes, and that is what is a good tool for staging? Is there a good tool for staging? And really up to date, I haven't found anything I quite liked uh, as well as I do something called Virtual Staging AI. And so let's go ahead and jump in there. But before we do, please click the subscribe button and the like button on the video. It helps me, it helps the channel, and it'll help you as I launch a lot of videos to help you with your business. So let's just jump in in there. All right. So my favorite tool for this is agent staging AI. And, uh, you know, I teach a lot of marketing and uh, AI classes and a lot of the AI classes, everyone's asking for a tool very often. What's a free tool? Cause somebody's on a budget. I don't have a good free tool. And a lot of the tools out there are quite frankly junk. But this one really stood out to me. And just to note, this is not a sponsored video. No one is paying me to make this, this content. Uh, this is one that I have found and I like. I do have an affiliate link. If you want to sign up, it won't change the price. It's in the description below. Um, and take it for a test drive. You don't have to pay anything to test it out a couple of times and see if you like it. And as a token system, you're going to be given a number of tokens to create and edit some things in AI. And uh, when you like it, you finalize it and it's there. You're not going to be using this to do bulk edits or edits of all 67 photos you're putting in your listing. Um, this is going to be for a couple ones that you really want to stand out. Uh, vacant rooms or rooms that are poorly decorated or have old furniture in it or boxes uh, don't show well and they don't tell a good story about your listing. And so virtual staging AI helps you resolve some of those issues. Issues. So with that, let's just jump right in and see what it does. All right. Once we get here, we start off on our uh, um, up upload platform where we're going to be able to add our photos for the listing. You can can create folders. So you have one for each listing. I love organization of system and data. And so this was a big deal to me. I know most people probably don't care. So I'm going to be in my folder. I'm going to click on upload photos and we're going to do two very quickly. One is going to be um, of just the uh, living room and you, I'm going to upload this one. And you can see this is a stock photo, by the way. Um, so this is not an actual client. I didn't want to use one of those. And I don't particularly like this. It's a little dark for me for a listing photo. Uh, it's a little mature, we'll say. Um, and so I don't really care for that. Now, by the way, you'll notice that my uh, logo pops up on the photo when I'm editing it. You don't have to do that. I, I have done that. Uh, you can, in the settings you upload it. So it puts your branding and all of your photos. Some of your MLSs do not allow personal branding or data. So you probably wouldn't want to do that for the MLS. Um, all right. And so we have two choices here. In this case, this photo already has furniture. So I'm going to click on remove that old furniture. And at the same time, I can also add furniture. Now notice that when I click on add furniture, it asks me what kind of room we're in. So this is a living room and I want probably more modern furniture. And we've got a couple of different options of furniture, which I think is quite nice there. And you notice that this turned red. These are called masks. So these red elements are the things that the uh, AI tool has identified as something that is going to modify, add, or change. And I can click on edit mask and I can take away the mask from things I want to keep. So let's say I want to keep these plants over here in the corner. I can remove that from the mask, right? So it won't, th those won't be modified. And um, I don't necessarily like that art, but I could do that to the art if I wanted to. Now, again, as a reminder, as real estate agents, you're not modifying anything that is going to convey with the house, anything that is screwed in or anything that's real property. This is for personal property only. If you did not have existing furniture, you just wouldn't tick that button and then it would allow you to add furniture to the picture. And so I'm going to hit process photo and it's going to take a couple seconds and you can see in the countdown there that it is decluttering and reimagining this room. Okay, and now that it's reimagined this room, we're going to go click on the results and it gives us two options. And so, or it gives us a few options actually. So here's one. I like this. I, I like this is much more contemporary. It's got a little darkening under the window seal and stuff. Anything you create with AI is going to have some hint of not being perfect. That is unfortunately the byproduct of AI. Uh, it also for a critical eye would help you identify that. So you guys see a couple little marks up here. But I can live with those things and that I can polish up in Canva if I want to or some type of photo editing app. So I really like 
the furniture placement they did here uh, that, I, I think that's great this is a little bit cleaner and nicer I love the TVs I don't know why you would need two TVs in a room but it looks good it's got some brightness and they put some type of uh, you know photos in there uh, and that, so I like this one better. This seems a less cluttered version of it. And then lastly, and this is the best. And I have found with a system that typically I like the uh, last of each stack, but it gave me four options to choose from to reflect the home. And I, I get it. Some of you are chatting right now about uh, what about the fair marketing? Look, I could bring in a bunch of furniture I own from a warehouse, set it up, take photos and haul out the next day. And uh, no one's going to say anything about it. This is essentially the same thing. We're just using a digital tool, an AI tool to stage the property, uh, to show and help the buyer imagine what it would look like with more up to date. Cause you can see over here on the left is the original, uh, styling. So I like this. I like it very, very much. You can click on create more if you want more options and you don't like the four they gave you. Now let's go back to the room and we are going to do another photo and this time we're going to do outside. There is obviously more to this system than I am going over in this, in this video. I just want to show you some of the things that it does and how easy it does it. And so in this case, we have a outside photo. So we're going to go over here to the day to dusk uh, option and with a sky style, and then we can choose whether we want blue, golden, or dusk. I love golden hour photos. So we are gonna go ahead and see how that works. And I, that's all it is. I'm just gonna click on that. And then we're gonna wait a few minutes for the processing to occur. All right, and now that the processing has occurred, I wow, that is a big difference. That is, um, that is a golden sky. That may be a little bit more than I uh, wanted for that. So I can go back and let's say, let's say we want to do it at dusk and see if it's not quite as uh, picturesque, we'll say. And so I'm going to go click on the dusk one. It's going to create another option for me down here. You can see it cooking. And then I click on that. And again, it's, it's nice, bright and blue with a little bit of pink. So I think just in the matter of transparency, I'm going to leave the first version in the video to say, you know what? The consumers are getting super accustomed to these ultra saturated kind of fakish looking photos. So we're going to leave that in there. Maybe you choose to use it. And then over here, not so much. Now, uh, this is probably a much nicer version of it. I like the pinks picking up the sky and the, the plant. This one still has kind of this dark haunted house looking feature, which a lot of agents are using now. And I have other opinions. I've covered another training video about it, but it does lighten up the windows to show it's in the evening as opposed to the morning or midday where you would not have lights on. Super smart. I think it's great. And this is a good product. Uh, I would use it. Uh, I do use it for listing photos. I would use it for pretty much every listing there. Uh, it's way less expensive than paying people to go edit, uh, which I used to do uh, photos or I would do it myself in Photoshop and it just took more time and wasn't quite as perfect as this. So uh, again, just a nice simple tool to do this. There are other tools and settings in here. I'm just not covering them because of time and I just wanted to give you a heads up. I love virtual staging AI. I think this is a great easy tool for anyone regardless of what their tech skill is. So go check it out. Thanks for watching.